The Manchu are the third largest ethnic minority in China, mainly living in the Northeast, though they can also be found in other parts of the country. Historically, their origins go back to ancient groups, and by the Ming Dynasty, they had evolved into the Manchu people we know today. Their ancestral language, Jurchen, is part of the Tungusic family, which includes other groups from eastern Siberia and Manchuria. Research suggests that the original homeland of the Tungusic peoples was near the Russia-China border. Previous genetic studies of the Manchu population show that they are genetically very similar to northern Han Chinese, with only small differences. Their genetic makeup includes influences from both northern and southern East Asia, making them closely related to Mongolians, Koreans, and Han Chinese from the Northeast. On the paternal side, the most common Y chromosome type in the Manchu is O2M122, found in 42.6% of the population. Studies also show that Manchus have experienced significant genetic mixing with northern Han Chinese. Their genetic background is believed to come from both northern populations like the ancient Mohe and Xi'an Bay, and southern populations such as those from Iron Age Taiwan. Genetically, Koreans show a typical East Asian profile through mitochondrial DNA. The Y chromosome haplotype O2BSRY465 suggests that Proto-Koreans originated in northeastern China during the Neolithic and Bronze Ages. Recent studies on modern Korean genomes revealed two major genetic influences, one from East Siberia and another from Southeast Asia. Koreans today are thought to be a mix of Neolithic Northeast Asians and Iron Age Southeast Asians. Ancient genomes from Korea's Three Kingdoms period, 4th to 7th century CE, show an admixture of Northern Chinese ancestry and Jomon-related ancestry. However, no genetic studies have yet been conducted on Koreans living in China. It's important to note that population formation often crosses national borders, making the genetic diversity of Chinese Koreans an interesting area for further research. Scientists used a method called PCA to study the genetic makeup of different populations. They found two main patterns of genetic differences that aligned with geography and language. One pattern showed a north-south divide in East Asia, while the other focused on populations from Northeast Asia. The Manchu and Korean samples fell in between these two patterns. The Manchus were closely related to Northern Han Chinese, while the Korean group showed affinity with present-day South Koreans, Japanese, and ancient populations from China. Scientists used another method called admixture to analyze the genetic makeup of the Manchu and Korean groups. They found that the best way to divide the data was into four ancestral components linked to Tibetans or Han Chinese, Southeast Asians, and Northeast Asians. The Manchu group had a genetic pattern similar to Northern Han Chinese, while the Koreans from Antu were genetically similar to South Koreans, which matched the results of the earlier analysis. The Koreans from Antu also had more of the genetic traits associated with Northeast Asia than the Manchus from Jinzhou, suggesting that Koreans may have more ancestry from that region. Manchus from the Northeast were genetically different from those in the Southwest, with the latter being more similar to Southern Chinese and other local groups. Genetic analyses also showed that Koreans, Japanese and South Koreans were closely related. These results confirmed a strong genetic connection between Manchus and Koreans. Additionally, Koreans and Japanese were grouped together in a model, suggesting possible genetic mixing from other populations in Northeast Asia into the Korean-Japanese group. Compared to some Northern East Asian groups like the Kazakhs and Kyrgyz, the Manchus and Koreans from Antu share more genetic similarities with groups like Han Chinese, Hmong Mien, Thai Kadai, Japanese, and Koreans. Manchus were genetically different from other Tungsic speaking groups, and similar patterns were found for the Koreans from Antu. 
These results indicate that the Manchus are more closely related to Southeast or East Asian populations, possibly due to genetic mixing from Southern China, while other Tungusic groups might have received genetic input from West Eurasia. Scientists also explored West Eurasian influence by comparing ancient populations from Russia to Manchus and other Tungusic groups. They found no significant signs of West Eurasian ancestry in the Manchus, but a small amount was present in some other Tungusic populations. Manchus and Koreans are genetically closest to ancient populations from the Yellow River region and an Iron Age group from the Far East. They share more genetic similarities with these ancient groups than with populations like Tibetans, Hmong Mien, or Thai Kadai. However, both Manchus and Koreans have a similar level of connection to these ancient populations when compared to Han Chinese. Koreans, whether from South Korea or Northeast China, are genetically similar. Historical Koreans from the Three Kingdoms period also show strong genetic ties to modern Koreans, but ancient Koreans from the Neolithic period are not very different from other East Asians. When focusing on the Han Chinese, researchers found that ancient East Asian populations were genetically similar to both Manchus and Northern Han Chinese. In contrast, ancient populations from Southeast Asia had a stronger genetic connection with Southern Han Chinese. Further analysis showed that Koreans have more ancestry linked to Northern East Asia or Southern Siberia than Han Chinese do. Researchers studied the genetic makeup of Manchus and Koreans by comparing them to populations across East and Southeast Asia. They found that for both groups, their genetic makeup likely came from a mix of Northern and Southern populations. For Manchus, Northern groups like Tibetans and Ulchi, combined with southern groups like Ami, showed the most evidence of mixing. Koreans also showed similar patterns of mixing with northern groups like Ulchi and southern groups like Mulam. When looking at the broader genetic history, Koreans were mainly linked to ancient Bronze Age farmers from the West Liao River area. Manchus also shared ancestry with these ancient populations but had additional genetic influence from southern China. In one model, Manchus were shown to have about 17% ancestry from Iron Age Taiwan and 83% from northern populations. Even when this northern source was adjusted, the results remained similar. In a more detailed model, Manchus were estimated to have about 7.5% ancestry from Taiwan 84% from northern populations, and 8.5% from a group called Heishui Mohe. For comparison, modern Koreans had about 85% ancestry from the northern group and 15% from Taiwan-related populations, while Mongolians had less influence from southern groups and more from Northeast Asians like Xianbei or Mohe. Researchers studied the genetic makeup of the Manchus and Koreans, focusing on their maternal and paternal lineages. For the Manchus, the dominant paternal Y chromosome type is O2A1C1, which is also common in Northern Han Chinese. On the maternal side, Manchus showed a mix of genetic types similar to those found in Han Chinese. Interestingly, they also found a U5 haplotype, which is usually linked to West Eurasians, suggesting some West Eurasian influence in the Manchu population. The Koreans in the study had a maternal genetic profile similar to South Koreans, with D4 haplogroup being the most common type, along with other East Asian lineages. For the male samples, the common Y chromosome types were O1, O2, and C2, which are typically found in both Han Chinese and Koreans. Historically, the Manchus have mixed with other ethnic groups over time, especially during the Qing Dynasty, when they intermarried with Han Chinese in particular. Migrations from Northeast China to Central and Southern regions 
also increased interactions between the Manchus and other populations. These historical events explain the genetic similarities between the Manchus and various groups across China. Although the Manchus have the largest population among Tungusic-speaking groups, their genetic makeup is different from other groups like the Oroken, Hezhen, and Zibo. While some of these groups have West Eurasian ancestry, the Manchus do not. Instead, their genetics are closely linked to ancient populations from the West Liao and Yellow River regions. Previous research suggested that 32.4% of their ancestry came from the ancient Mohe people, but this study could not confirm that, possibly due to differences in the amount of genetic data or where the samples were taken. In addition, earlier research found that 4th to 5th century South Koreans had some Jomon-related ancestry, which is now absent in modern Koreans. This study also did not find Jomon ancestry in present-day Chinese Koreans. The Chinese Koreans in Jilin were closely related to modern South Koreans, suggesting their ancestry comes from recent migrations from Korea. Their ancestry also traces back to Bronze Age farmers from the West Liao River, reflecting the spread of farming from Northeast China to Korea and Japan. The Manchus from Beijing, Jinzhou, consider Changbai Mountain their original homeland, and this study found a genetic connection between the Manchus and Chinese Koreans from that region, supporting their linguistic link. To better understand the genetic profiles of people in Northeast China, more Manchu and Korean subgroups from the region should be studied in the future. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.